I want to show you something about calendars. You all use calendars every day, multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. I want to show you a trick, a tool that is easy, you may use several times a week for the rest of your life, possibly several times a day. And it's mostly magic, very little math. So there are some complicated ways to figure out what day of the week something happens. But this is an incredibly simple, clear-cut, fun way to do it. And you can do it. And I'm going to show you, before I finish this, how to do it. Now, somebody give me a date, uh, a birthday, whatever. March 4th. March 4th. Uh, March 4th is on a Monday. Take a look at your sheets. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody else. July 18th. July 18th. Um, is on Thursday. Yeah. On 2015, we'll say. We've got 14 and 15. Yeah. Um, it'll be on a Saturday. July 18th will yes. be on a Saturday, that's right. Mm -hmm. I can teach you how to do this right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. There's a key day to each year. So what you learn for this year with a little switch will work next year and the year after that every year. What we're going to do is start with February. The key date is the 28th, the last day of February. That means that's a Thursday. So the 7th the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th, circle them all. They're all Thursdays. So anytime you think of February, know that all the sevens are on Thursday. Now, guess what? The next day is the 1st of March. These things run together. Therefore, the 7th, the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th of March are all Thursdays. You now know the next two months what day of the week? You can figure out a couple of days ahead or forward <coughs> for any date, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, let's go on from there. Now, this is just so cold that it's like patterns. <laughs> Where do they come from? Even numbers, double. Four. We've already done two. So four, four. April 4th is a Thursday. Huh. 6-6. Six, six. June 6th is a Thursday. 8-8. Eight, eight. August 8th is a Thursday. I want you guys to be marking this. I, I, sorry, because I don't want you to lose it. 10-10. Ten, ten. Could that be a Thursday? Look at that. That is also a Thursday. 12 12 wow. is a Thursday. Wow. I mean, this is an incredible way you now have most of the year right there. Now, I'm going to show you two things with this. One is, it's just because this is so cool, the 7, 14, 21, 28, it's the second month, the second to last month does the same thing. November has 7, 14, 21, and 28. Are all sevens, are all on Thursdays. And because the seventh is here, the day before it, calendars run together, right? The months run together. This is the 31st. So you now know that the 31st of January is a Thursday. Now, take 28 days away from that so you know that January 3rd is also, if you want, and you can, and you can figure out, it's just easier to add than to subtract sevens. So you're just adding sevens, adding a couple of sevens, a seven or two, or subtracting a seven or two to get any place you want. Now, uh, notice 4th of July is on a Thursday. <clears throat> We have now covered 10 of the 12 months. The only two left, the only two left are May and September. 
that we haven't done it. And a little memory technique for learning those two our Christmas is on the 25th, right? Can everybody remember that? <laughs> you got it? Christmas is on the 25th. So the May and September are on May is the 2nd, and September is on the 5th. You now have the whole year. You can figure <laughs> out any date. <clears throat> what day of the week anything happens, birthdays, events, anything. So I want you to take this out for the rest of your lives. If you spend, I started studying this Tuesday. <laughs> and I can now, I went through 100 dates. I went actually through 200 dates. I was able to name them all. Do you have a question? Yeah. On a leap year, do you still keep the 28th? Leap year, the, the 28th, there's a little technique for it. I'll talk to you afterwards about it. It's very simple, but the next three years are not leap years. So therefore, for three years, you'll be able to do it. At that point, in 30 seconds, I can show you how it does it. Now, the other thing that I didn't show you is that all the days change, the key date. Like, all those dates are on Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This year. 2013, 13, TH 13, TH 2013 is Thursday. So you're not going to forget that, right? Right. 2014, 2014 starts with an F. Next year, all those dates, all those dates are on Friday. In 2015, it moves to Saturday. Now, I want you to use this in your life, enjoy it tremendously. But I want you to think about teaching this to a kid. Because calendars teach, you know, like the seasons of the year. They teach science. They can teach so much. It's a, just a key thing for kids to understand. In the months of the year, it relates them socially. There's so much value to it. And they'll be able to use this tool for the rest of their lives, which is twice what ours is. So enjoy this yourself and share it.